Well, Hezbollah leaders have met senior officials from the Palestinian groups Hamas and Islamic Jihad to discuss this war with Israel. The group has also been holding funerals for fighters killed in exchanges across that border between Israel and Lebanon. Let's bring in Zainal Khodr. She's in Beit Yahun in southern Lebanon, near that Israeli border. Zainal, there's been escalating fighting between Hezbollah and Israel there. What's the latest now on the rules of engagement on that front? Well, an escalation along the border, but still very much contained and limited to the border area. If you can see the hills behind me, during the past half hour or so, Israel has been targeting uh, that, that those hills, which is the outskirts of the southern border village of Aitarun. This cycle of violence is what we have been seeing for over two weeks now. Israel retaliating at sources of fire and Hezbollah mounting attacks targeting Israeli military positions along and close to the border. And we want to also show you in a short while a funeral will be underway of yet another Hezbollah fighter killed, um, killed in the confrontations with the Israeli army. Forty, more than 40 since the start of this conflict, since Hezbollah heeded the call of its ally Hamas to join the battle against Israel. Now, a relatively high casualty toll, but there are reasons for this. Hezbollah is on the offensive. It is Hezbollah which is mounting, mounting attacks. A very diff different uh, situation than in 2006 during the last war between the Israeli military and Hezbollah, when Hezbollah was really defending positions. And it's not just that. Hezbollah fighters have had to operate in open areas. What they're trying to do is limit the confrontation to military targets and not, for example, fire um, or launch anti-tank missiles from homes or, or villages. So their fighters really are out in the open. And I can tell you, 24-7, there are Israeli surveillance aircraft in the skies that leaves these fighters really um, uh, easily, to be, in many ways, easily be, be targeted. So yet another Hezbollah funeral, Hezbollah fighter funeral, which is expected to get underway. Uh, the clashes, yes, escalating along the border, but still very confined in terms of geography. Uh, Zena, I was understanding from our reporting that there has been this meeting that took place between Hezbollah, Hamas, Islamic Jihad. What do we know about what was discussed? Well, Hezbollah released that statement and a picture. It did not say when that meeting was held, but you see the Secretary General of Hezbollah, Hassan Nasrallah, along with leaders from Islamic Jihad and Hamas. Uh, these three groups really are allies, part of the so-called axis of resistance that is backed by Iran. Islamic Jihad and Hamas also taking part in the, in the attacks against the Israeli, Israeli positions. Uh, I can read to you part of their statement. They're saying that their, their assessment was made of the international positions that are being taken and what the axis of resistance, the parties of the axis of resistance must do to realize real victory and halt the brutal aggression against the Palestinian people in Gaza. Now, it's an open secret that these groups coordinate. Many observers will tell you this is also part of the psychological warfare, not telling the Israeli army what these groups are going to do next. We've heard Hezbollah officials say that they are part of this battle and they're ready to be more involved if necessary. And Hezbollah also believes that its military actions in the past two weeks has really helped in, in, in the course, uh, directing, if you like, the course of this conflict, because Israel has had to move resources and uh, divisions, army divisions, if you can see the body of the Hezbollah fighter now arriving, uh, pre preparations for the, for the burial ceremony. So Hezbollah uh, Deputy Secretary General saying that their presence, their military activity, along the border is harassing the Israeli army, uh, making it more difficult as it needs to fight between two separate fronts. And we're listening to that gunfire there as that funeral continues near the border with Israel and southern Lebanon. Zainal Khodr there with all the latest for us from the ground. Thank you, Zainal.